Namaste guys so recently I make this video and some guys are asking how to make this so in this video I'm going to teach you how I made it okay so let's start from everything from scratch so click on file new general okay don't save it press x and delete so I already created a file in sortworks okay so I'm going to import it okay and cable so select this press x and delete so here you can see this part <coughs> So first what I have to do is select this press uh, go to object click uh, set origin origin to geometry okay after that select this press shift as uh, selection to cursor now press 3 on your uh, numpad after that we are going to scale it down little bit because it's big in size as you can see so as 0.1 okay to make it smaller now it's look great and press ctrl a and apply scale and and to hide it now go to the add mesh and go to add single words now press e y add a value of uh, 3 after that press e z add a value of 1 and press e y add a value of minus Three. Now select these words. Press Control B and click on Bevel and make it 0.5 and increase the number of uh, segments to 10. Similarly, select this one. Press Control B. Uh, quick click on words is make it 0.5 and number of segments to 10. <coughs> After that, uh, select select this and press right click on it and click on subdivide increase the subdivision uh, to 20 i guess and 21 uh, 22 okay 22 and similarly select these right click on it subdivide and make it 22 after that uh, simply select this go to object uh, click on convert convert to curve Select this one. <coughs> Sorry for the background noises. Uh, select this one. Go to the modifiers. Click on array. Uh, make it zero. Now increase the y value. Press three. Uh, let's talk to extreme mode. And by pressing shift. Uh, increase or decrease the value until you will get a satisfied result so i will enter minus 0.545 and increase it up to your requirements let's say 30 or uh, maybe 50 after that select this one go to here click on curve select the words as you can see it's not working select the y-axis again it's not correct select this press n and go to the y-axis move it to 90 degree and just yes, looks working now a question is how to do the animation so for animation simply just go here uh, move the y, y point and you can see you can get the animation okay I am not adding texturing or coloring and that, that is a very simple thing okay just in case if anybody wonder how to do it simply click on your part tab uh, press tab and click on divide icon uh, first hide this and press let's just give the coloring if you all if all you watching so it's a very simple thing select the face mode select this and select this by pressing shift and click on assign uh, let's give it a some color let's say red color is fine click on new one click on new and select the faces like this and this and click on assign and give it a color let's say blue one click ok press tab and go to view texture 
okay so you can see uh, your simple design so simply just click on Y and you can see the animation it's quite easy uh, not like rocket science it's quite simple and the design part is uh, this thing making is very simple but for dimensional accuracy I made in SOLIDWORKS or you can make it in FreeCAD for dimensional accuracy okay because it's a standard industrial thing not like you make something okay so it's a dimensionally accurate thing that is the reason I have used a CAD software to make this part after that I have imported it okay so I hope you learned something from this video and make sure that you subscribe this channel to motivate us if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to comment and if you want this CAD file uh, link is in description thanks for watching and have a great day namaste